I think you have to really understand that for all your vision and all your passion about what something could be, you have to also enjoy the whole process of what is the thesis and what is the experiment and think of it in those terms, right? And we're lucky to have, you know, Barry, a part of the team. He's a lean, you know, specialist and knows that, that language very well. But you have to get down to these things and say, you know, and I was just talking to a founder this morning that wanted to be part of the studio and, and God bless her, you know, her vision and passion for this big marketplace that she wanted to solve was, was resonating. But I'm like, this 49 year old man going through 14 startups and start, you know, venture capital startups my entire life. It felt to me like you described 27 different companies that have their own 10 year roadmaps each. So how do you boil it down into the single test that might be one week test or a two week test or a one month test that then unlocks the keys to the next test. Right. And that's what we've tried to do in our structure. So I said progressive, Mm -hmm. you know, the first step starts an idea and that's just a scorecard. But then it unlocks the next level investment, which is not a lot, but it's enough for us to build up business models, a product canvas, the first thesis. We're starting to invest more to start structuring that. And if we get past that, then it unlocks the next one and says, okay, now we're actually going to invest real money to build this thing and put it out in the market. But mm-hmm. what was our thesis? How will we know we succeeded or not? Right? Mm-hmm. So when you launch it, we're not all just blowing hot air up each other's skirts, right? And telling us how it worked. We yeah. have to go back and say, we said... One plus one equals two, and it came out to 14. Is that good or bad? Was our thesis mm. wrong? Was the product wrong? Was the product better than we thought? Are we, do we build something completely different? What are the customers saying, right? And so I just think that's something that, frankly, I think we'll be doing our entire you know, journey. I think 30 years from now, we'll still be getting good at that. So it's something that you always yeah. have to force yourself to do because, again, one of the things we're really good at as founders is being irrationally excited and naive and pursuing something that's big and dreamy. I think that that anchor even maybe may not be one you talk about a lot, figuring out that anchor in your body that says, yes, but I'm not going to go so far that I build an organization where I look backwards and go, shit, I just spent $4 million on the wrong thing. And I've been there before. And I'm sorry to those investors because I've done it before. I'm never going to do it again. So we are just making sure that every investment we make is bound the right thesis and experiment to unlock the next step. (laughs) 